Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve. So today I've got a product review for you. We're going to be taking a look at the new Thermaworks Signals. So this is a four channel Wi-Fi and Bluetooth temperature monitoring device. Um, I'm going to walk you through setting it up. We're going to take a look at the app and we're going to put this guy to use on a live cook. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get this guy unboxed. Take a look. Got all your information on the back here. Actually, I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit about it. Um, your probe range goes from minus 58 uh, to 572 degrees Fahrenheit. And the probes, again, there's three food and one pit probe. I'll pull out here in a second. The probes have a max temp of 700 degrees. Um, so these are their Pro Series high temp cooking probes. So these are some nice probes that come with this. Flip this guy over and got a little uh, temperature chart that they send out sometimes. Just some other kind of random info here. And here is the unit itself. Show that to you a little bit better. It's got a cool little kind of almost triangle type design here. All the probes are going to go on the side there. Pretty straightforward. I'm assuming these are color coded for your, to put on your probes there. And here are our three food probes. And this is our pit probe. Right here, here's the clip if you need that. And then the power supply. So that's it. So let's take a look at the main unit here. Again, you can run this in standalone mode, so where you're just interacting directly on the unit itself with all the different buttons down here. Uh, and then it runs either via uh, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Up here in the upper left, you see that uh, both the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth icons are showing. What that means is what this unit does is once you uh, get it set up, it initially connects via Bluetooth, and then after that, it's gonna ask you for your Wi-Fi and you'll type your password in. It took me all of like 30 seconds to get this thing set up and communicating. So it's going to, once you have Wi-Fi set up, that's gonna be its primary way of communicating. And if Wi-Fi drops off for whatever reason, it will try to switch over to, to Bluetooth. Um, so that's kind of how that works. So you've got the four different channels. All you have to do is just hit this channel button to kind of cycle through the four different channels like this. And so we'll get back over here to channel one and once you hit set, if I hit this arrow up or down, what it's doing is it's turning the alarm on or off. So you can control the, the audible alarm from the base unit per channel. If we hit set again, then it's gonna flip over to your high temp. So we can just push that up or down, hit set again and then it's gonna switch over to your low temp. And again, you can just kind of go up or down on that. You can control the volume. And then you've got the light button. And uh, I'll show that when we step outside tonight when I'm doing a cook. And I think it stays on for like 10 seconds or something like that. So that's the base unit and how to control it if you just want to control directly on the base unit and don't want to mess with you know, using your, your phone or an, uh, a tablet or something like that. All right, what I'm going to do is go ahead and just plug a couple of these probes in just for kind of demo purposes. So that is the pit probe I just put in channel two. And then uh, that is the uh, one of the food probes that's in channel one. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna just kind of back this up a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Um, so on my phone here, uh, you can see that those just popped up. Didn't, it took about you know five seconds to pop up. 
The app is incredibly straightforward. Uh, what it does is it, it's set to default to send a reading from the signals base unit to the app every 60 seconds, but you can go in and, uh, and control that. If you go to menu, and this is kind of the home screen for the app, if I just go to devices, there is uh, the signals, and then I go down here to options and interval rate. This is where you can change that if you want to do that. So we'll come back over here um, to the home screen. And so all you have to do is on any of these channels, you just click on it and then uh, you can come in here and click alarms. You can give it a name um, and then you can set your high and low temps here. You can turn the alarm on or off right there. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. There's all kinds of graphing uh, capabilities in here and you can export out your graphs and things like that. So. Uh, very, very easy to control via the app and I'm, I'm really impressed with it. And I meant to show this as well, when you are, uh, when you click into one of the channels here, if you go to settings, um, again, this is where you can give this specific channel a name. So you just click on there and, you know, call it pork or whatever. Uh, but you do have, we come back into settings, a uh, calibration button right here and it says warning, this adjusts the temperature reading of signals. So uh, you can, if you think something's off about it, you can go in there and, and mess around with the calibrate, the calibration settings as well. All right, so we're out here at my Kamado Joe Big Joe. I'm doing a couple pork tenderloins tonight. I'm just using one of the food probes that we've got over here and this guy. And then here's our pit probe over here with the clip that I showed you. So you see that just goes, it just clips on nice and easy in between uh, the rack there. All right, and you see that pit temp climbing back up quickly now that I've got the lid down. So just a nice little shot there uh, to kind of show this, this guy in a live cook. And as nice as the, the unit is itself and being able to operate it out here, you know, having that, that nice backlight for when it gets dark and everything like that. As, as much as I love the design, I just love the fact that I can just pull the app up on my phone and just keep an eye on things from there. So uh, really impressed so far. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up today's video review. So I will have a link in the video description if you wanna go check it out. It comes in a bunch of different colors, just like all the other Thermoworks products. I'm liking that this unit has four channels with the Wi-Fi built in, uh, where their last unit, the smoke and the smoke gateway, um, you know, if you had the smoke and the smoke gateway together, that's three different pieces and it's just two channels. So I'm definitely digging on this new signals more. So I appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you again soon.